Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student Studies. In this video, I am going to walk you through how I take my final study notes. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe for more study with me videos and study tips. On this channel, I share with you my study routines and how I manage to be a paperless student, hoping that I will help you to organize your digital life or inspire you to go paperless with your studies. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. If you're interested in the apps that I'm using, check out my other channel, Paperless Student. In this video, I will just talk about the writing process. So I write study notes for a couple of reasons. First of all, I don't like other people's notes and this means my professor's lecture notes as well. I prefer notes that I've written myself because they make more sense to me. Secondly, I don't like textbooks. They are great to extract information out of but I find them too wordy and they love complicating everything and they mix up all the information all over the place. Basically, my study notes have everything in one place. And the last reason is that it's all part of my study routine. Study notes and rough notes are a part of my study routine and they help me focus on different pieces of information to make sense of what I'm learning. I am a visual learner and I learn by connecting dots so if things make sense to me I will remember them and I'll be able to teach them to someone else and I'll be able to write comprehensive notes on it. During this study session, I was writing notes for internal medicine practical skills, trying to make sense of the practical skills I already have and the theory that is connected to those practical skills. Now, I'm just setting up my notes on my computer, opening up my textbooks, which I was using two of them, and some lecture notes. For this study session, I mostly use my lecture notes and I use the textbooks to explain and figure out stuff that I didn't understand from the lecture notes. For these study notes, since they are mostly practical skills, I didn't have a lot of rough notes on them, which made it difficult to make study notes because I had no guideline. That's why I use rough notes, because they make it easier for me to write final study notes. So this took a lot of mental work because a huge step of my study routine was essentially missing. I had to rearrange a lot of stuff on the page, which is one of the reasons why I'm really grateful for being paperless. The amount of paper I would waste. I think this is just a bad habit that I developed after I went paperless. On paper, I had to be more careful because a mistake would ruin my notes. And I like my notes looking pretty and neat. But once I got paperless, I discovered the beauty of the undo button and the lasso tool. So any mistakes I make can be fixed and I will fix it. And so I don't really have to think hard about what I'm writing, what I'm doing. Because if I make a mistake, I can just fix it really quickly. It makes it difficult for me to write neatly on paper. You should see my tests, papers and paper assignments. They are terrible, to say the least. They are always untidy with a lot of corrections because I'm just used to writing whatever and fixing it. When I write my study notes, I make sure that I am connecting dots and I am grouping related information together. This is very important for me, which is why I would rather use my study notes than go back to lectures or textbooks because they don't have my structure of notes. And my study notes have answers to the questions I get from my professors. They have hints to my thinking process and my thinking patterns that help me remember and learn what I need to know.
I also structure them in a way that finding information in the future is easy for me. If I ever meet a question I can't answer or a case I don't understand, I know exactly where in my notes to find it. So you could say my notes are like a catalog of information that I learn and they're systematically structured, which makes it easy for me to remember them, easy for me to find what I need. My connection to my notes is so deep, I put a lot of thought, a lot of effort, and a lot of planning into taking my notes. Because once I get them right, number one, I understand what I've been learning. Number two, if I have any quiz in the future, I always have a good piece of information to come back to, to look for what I need. And this is really important for me, especially when I'm doing revision and I'm doing questions, study questions. It really helps me if my notes are organized and I don't have to waste time looking for information. So I try to make a structure of notes that gives me a bigger picture of everything that is connected and interrelated. It is easier to remember information that makes sense to me because it is connected to something I already know. Would you guys be interested in quiet study sessions where I am not explaining anything and I am just studying? Let me know in the comment section down below. I also use this app Smart Medical. It froze on me a couple of times and I had to close the application. This application is great for for explaining different signs that I need to know when examining patients is a good quick reference. I am still in the process of documenting my practical skills, but that was just a rough idea of how I create my study notes on my iPad Pro. What kind of videos are you guys interested in seeing on this channel? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment, share, like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.